So another question people ask a lot is what's the value of silica in the root zone? So let's take a look at that. Um, potassium silicate is chemically K2SiO4. This is the soluble compound that we add to fertilizers. This is a highly valuable compound. Silica is not essential, but that doesn't mean it isn't important. I mean, you could, you could compare this to human physiology. Is exercise essential? Well, no, but it's sure a best practice. It's sure a good idea. And the same thing with potassium silicate. It's very valuable. The reason we haven't used it more is it's not very soluble. Um, and it has to be in solution to be effective. So um, potassium silicate is by far the most common form of this. What we have found here is there, there's a, a bunch of ways you can do this. One, you can add it to the media. I'm going to put add to media. And our studies here indicate there's two good ways to do this. I'm gonna, I'll put A, rice hulls, which are commercially available. They're a slow release form of silica. We use them here in the lab. These are great for providing silica. And then another one that we've more recently studied is called wollastonite. A, a S T O N I T E. This is a mineral. Um, it's calcium silicate, and it's a white powder. You can add it to media. It's a, it's a really a wonderful slow release fertilizer, um, and, and if you can add it to your media. If you're growing in Grodan, then you want to put silica in the solution. And here's the problem. If I can make a little graph right here, here's pH, and we're gonna do four to uh, 12, really alkaline pH. And as you know, we, we get in right in here in the middle, and about pH about six is optimal. Potassium silicate is extremely low solubility, low, low, and then it goes exponential way out here. And we need to get this to pH 11 to get it into solution. So for us, we add it with our fertilizer injectors, which is what you would do with Grodan. Only you need to make your fertilizer concentrate pH 11 to get it in solution. And after it's in solution, then you can adjust the pH back down to about six and it stays in solution at a, at a low level. Um, so here's the concept of adding potassium silicate in liquid feed continuously, and you wanna add it continuously, or alternatively, if you can mix it in using this technique, that also works well. The single biggest thing this does in cannabis is minimize powdery mildew. When we have adequate levels of potassium silicate, we almost never see powder, powdery mildew. As soon as something happens and it's not in the media, powdery mildew starts to flare up again. So for that reason alone, it's really valuable as an additive. Now, of course, it makes helps plants be more disease resistant, insect resistant, um, helps their structure um, of the plants. Um, so what level do we put it in? We put it in at 0 0.6 millimolar um, and parts per million. This is 0 0.6 times 28. So this is about 20 ppm milligrams per liter. Um, this is a optimal level of adding potassium silicate. And it's, P it's soluble um, at pH 6 at these low levels. So we, we highly recommend potassium silicate for, uh, especially for cannabis.